Okay, we want to talk about computer appreciation. A computer appreciation. Without computer appreciation, we will not understand computer application. We are talking about the foundation here. We are talking about the foundation. And I'm advising you and I'm telling you authoritatively that without computer appreciation, you will not have the needed foundation in the computer industry. So you need computer appreciation to understand computer application. So what is computer appreciation? So we say computer appreciation focuses on the concepts that enable you use the computer effectively. That is it. I love the history. If you know the history, you know the future. So in the course of talking about computer appreciation, we will talk about some softwares, system software, so that there is, there is a way. I've used computer for the past 20 years. I've been using computer for the past 20 years. And most times when people say my computer is faulty, my computer is faulty, is because you don't know how computer works. That is the truth. You don't know how computer works. You don't know how operating system works. You plug something in your computer and it's not responding. You should be able to, as somebody is using computer, you should be able to understand it. So that is the reason we bring this concept, computer appreciation. We try to talk about um, everything computer surrounding this concept. So it's basically the fundamental aspect of the computer that exposes you exactly to what computing is all about. So computer appreciation focuses on the concept that enable you use the computer effectively. Uh, you'll see in the course of this training whether this is true. It's basically the fundamental aspect of the computer that exposes you to exactly uh, what computing is all about. Computer appreciation will enable you understand uh, the concept. So we are considering computer appreciation so that you will be introduced to the fundamentals of computing. Take a closer look at the components of a computer system, their uses, and possibly the fault associated with each component. As an end user that you are using computer, it's not every time you run to an engineer because these days uh, to fix up your system might cost you some dollars. So in the course of computer appreciation, computer application, I will expose you to, uh, because um, after graduation, I get, I, I get into computer repairs and maintenance. So I'm able to tell you authoritatively that if you follow this training, uh, some of the troubleshooting, some of the issues your computer will be developing, you'll be able to solve it from the comfort of your room. All you need is just a screwdriver. You don't. <laughs> when I was in the, into the ICT world, what do you need to repair computer? Just screwdriver, hard disks, and softwares. That is that. If it is hardware problems, you use you replace the hardware. If it is software related problem, you work on the software. All you need is your hard disks, your softwares, your uh, screwdriver. If you have a um, soldering iron, better for you if you want to work on some components. So I would try as much as possible to show you how to troubleshoot some of the issues you will have with some computer. Um, so I've been using computer for the past years and I've, I've seen that computer is so reliable. If you know how to use it, maintain it very well, you, it will really help you see the need for you to join this training. So we are considering computer appreciation so that you will be introduced to the fundamentals of computing. Take a closer look at the components of a computer system, their uses, and possibly the faults associated with each component. We will take a closer look at each component of the computer, uh, the usefulness of that component, and the fault that is associated with that component. Uh, we do it in the course of this training. So computer application. After computer appreciation, 
we will move to computer application so what is computer application so computer application we all know this is basically the application of computer software to solve our daily needs in different field of human endeavors uh, we are gradually moving into the definition of some terms we use in the computer industry so when we say computer application is different from saying computer appreciation computer appreciation is basically the theoretical concepts that enable you understand uh, the industry the computing world but computer application is the use of computer softwares computer softwares are those written instructions by programmers we use like your microsoft word you are not the creator you are not the one who program those software but microsoft word we are able to use it to type if you want to submit any document now any proposal you need microsoft word to type that document if you want to design you are a graphic designer you want to design you need corel draw photoshop or any other application that will enable you design effectively um i don't know what artists are eating now because computer has taken over <laughs> everything so if you are in the present world please try and navigate upgrade yourself because 20 years ago artists had a lot of jobs printing press they were everything was analog they do film and all that things artists would design uh, uh how is it called how is it called artists would design banners and everything they use their hand to draw it but to the, in today's reality somebody will sit down in, in from in fact with your phone you can design anything so uh, nobody patronizes it's it's on real occasion you go to an artist shop i want to do this computer has taken over many facets it has rendered most people jobless so computer application is the use of those written instruction to solve people's problem like now i want to present i want to train people i want to train people in computer i need powerpoint all what i'm doing now i don't call anybody to come and do it for me i type it in microsoft i move it to powerpoint if i want to have any design i move it to corel draw i don't call anybody to come and do it for me uh, that is the reason if I design, I try to bring in creativity into my design because I know how to use a computer. Uh, what would have become of me if I'm waiting for somebody to come and prepare slide for me, uh, design for me, uh, type for me? I type my work, do check for errors in my uh, English typing and every other thing. If I'm to publish any book now, I'm the one that will type it, correct it, page make it design the cover move it to the printing press and do my work with the help of computer i don't call anybody almost time when i call people to come and do it for me printing is very risky they might end up coming to disturb the whole process so i do it myself so computer application can be a source of your livelihood it serves me a lot so computer application is basically the application of computer software to solve our daily needs in different field of human endeavor. Then let's talk about computer maintenance. I have to bring all these concepts uh, because in this platform as well, we will teach you computer maintenance because we have all the media equipment in our office. We repair computer, we fix it for clients. So we will bring to you computer maintenance. We show you how to troubleshoot, how to fix up your computer when it is fault. You don't need to call anybody. From the comfort of your house, your home, you can solve your problem uh, anytime, even at midnight. Okay, if you are, let, let's not go there. The importance of learning this uh, skill abound. So computer maintenance. What is computer maintenance? So computer maintenance is different from computer repairs computer maintenance is different from computer repairs so what is computer repairs what is computer maintenance so let's take a closer look at computer 
maintenance so we say computer maintenance is basically keeping your computer in regular check to ensure that they are in good condition to prevent failure um we will talk about rules and regulation when using your computer and how to maintain the computer so let's not digress to other things so that the class the training will follow chronologically so we are saying computer maintenance is basically keeping your computer in regular check um, virus is one of the problem that affects your computer so you can prevent your computer from being faulty by installing by antivirus in your system regular updates and the rest so this can be through regular cleaning virus prevention careful handling of the computer uh, most times i use my computer so, um, at, a, at a point i'll just drop it i don't want to use that it doesn't spoil it doesn't it doesn't spoil if it develops any fault i just press one or two button troubleshoot and it gets back to shape so i'll use computer for three years at a point i'll be tired of using that type of computer i just i just dump it buy another one use another one so pick, just pick one from the office and use so doing this will help prolong the lifespan of your computer that is true it will help prolong the lifespan of your computer so in in the other way down around what is computer repairs what is computer repairs with there's a big difference between computer repairs and computer maintenance so what is computer repair so computer repair is basically the act of troubleshooting we talk about troubleshooting later identifying and giving solutions to computer associated problems computer maintenance is to prevent your computer from being faulty but when your computer is faulty it will need to go through troubleshooting it will need you to identify the faults and you give solution to the problem so computer repairs is basically the act of troubleshooting identifying and giving solutions to computer associated problems that is exactly what computer repairs is we will talk about that as a course in the foundation some people survive uh, in this planet because of computer repairs i was there i know how much i was making in a day so uh, some people can take up this as uh, the vocational skill and there is no way you will run a business center without being able to know how to repair computer if you run a business center and you know how to repair computer the success you get will be more than somebody who doesn't know how to repair a computer and he or she depends on an engineer if he does uh, 10,000 today, tomorrow, engineer will come and collect 5,000. I'm not going there, sorry, anyway. So the computer, let's look at the computer um, so that we gradually migrate. So the computer is invented as a multi-purpose machine. And as such, so many definitions are accorded to it. We want to define what a computer is or what is computer. So it is a multi-purpose machine. You can use it for different version of anything you want to do. So we say the computer is invented as a multi-purpose machine. And as such, there are different definitions accorded uh, computer. Prominent among the definitions are we want to define computer. What is computer? try as much as possible to break down the definition so that you follow us along uh, this information that you are getting is the same information your lecturer would tell you it's the same information you get when you go to a business center to a learn computer and we promise you we give you up-to-date information in the IT 